everyone, and welcome back to Hawkeye uh, Star, where we should hopefully be finishing the story today. It might take like one more episode, I have no idea. Or I might just make this episode super long to actually finish it. I'm not entirely sure yet, but. Hello. I really want to finish this, <laughs> this story. It's getting yes. so good. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? India. Of course. Big Sis is there, too. Four of us were just playing hide-and-seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> well, I think you mean so. Okay. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, oh, mister. Don't I feel like I've had my own the amusement park with this character. Well. My god, I'm <laughs> sure. Don't really, uh, what are we, uh, Oh, <laughs> what did I do? Uh, I'm trying to read it, that's fine. This is... This is so stupid. Not in like a bad way, like... Really. story goes like the more I'm feeling like you might actually die. Why aren't you talking? Thank you. Piques my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time at least. Well, sincerity is one of the traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? I'll know everything about you before you reach the end. It's <laughs> blocked out, it makes it like ten times more creepy than it would be. Okay, uh, there. 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 I remember. 
for it all. He wrapped that iron chain around your fist. For that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that vein, you... Shut up. Oh, he is getting... Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth the least 60 times. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it. Because it only proves Dude, the entry the story is so good. Actually, this entire edit quest is so good. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But he refused to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. The hell, that would be fine. He's not gonna, they're not gonna kill Your hands, me. those who follow you, could have become Joker cards. Like this is the only place the family ever cut corner. <laughs> Could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is an eager effort. I bet Opal would have resolved this out of us. Did Opal? Is that another gym? Pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. No, I think he just wants... <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What That's fun fair. is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponent would fight fair in the first place. Yeah, dude, they don't care. Uh, they don't fucking kill you if they want. So how are you just breathing by? Did that last cool word awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. Everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... disappear? <laughs> That's that cheating. There he These goes. leaves can be brought back. Would they bloom into new flowers? Okay, no, it's not bad. I don't have to be amazed. <laughs> God damn it. to do with like the, the, the number three three pieces three stones three uh three chips uh, that's what you always say but you actually regret it don't you that you didn't sell them you can zip it if there's nothing to talk about <laughs> i know you must remember what big sis told you you're a child blessed by gyathra triclops to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. Oh, man, yeah, the words still ring in your ears. You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. Will you shut up? So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into her heart. This is, this is too Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to my games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are <laughs> Oh, dude, was that just In the end. Robin loses her 
I saw the Rizzo's down there. Unsolved murders, cryptic messages from a masked fool, and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. So quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? <sighs> finally. Made it out of this place. Going home? But I don't want to go back yet. Okay, well. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, really is you. All right, what do you got? I don't know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling. It makes me more curious about you. Is he even yeah, real like I, I don't even know. Is he just going insane? <laughs> Did you have fun? Mm. You're going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark. And it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. Oh, is this... Yeah, this is why my own guy, isn't it? You're home. What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. This dream. This amusement park. This beautiful dream. Really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. Uh, I don't know about that. But, Mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Oh. That that would actually hurt, though. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, you, will you fuck up? <laughs>
Are they like the harmonious people? Uh, the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. You've never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is. And the watchmaker's so-called legacy couldn't be more boring. What you want. Solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger, deep inside family territory. Oh my god, he's up here. He wanted to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains in his spotless center stage. You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. Is he actually gonna die? I can do it. So he's talking about me when he says Stellaron. Okay, I get it. That way, the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just have to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. Maybe Agron will be able to give him freedom. I don't know. Because I know they're going to fight because they literally show it in the trailer. <laughs> I love that they're using like multiple different like shots in these uh, these stories. It's not always just on the character all the time, in, like one spot. So that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what? Did you suddenly grow a conscience? Yeah, definitely. Hey, I was born from your son. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Okay. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alas, people just gotta commit. Don't That's what we're doing. to where I'm going and look back. I'll know what the trip was all about. Oh my god, dude, his VA is so good. Oh my god. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's... It's what? It's best to die without regrets. He's not gonna die, right? There's no way. He's not gonna die before he's even released. And now... Only we are left. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? Sure. Right, Come on. Cool. You know, when I started this quest, I didn't think I'd looking like... Adventuring as much, but dude, he like... He is really... Growing up. Alright, <laughs> like throat. He's really grown on me. To be honest, he might be like one of the one of the best written characters so far. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. 
Or actually, no, let me rephrase that. He might have, he might be, yeah, I have one of the best stories so far. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Yeah, you gotta do your finale. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. Sure. So hey, let's... No wonder your clothes are so stylish. I'm actually a merchant, but I do have a show. Let's go. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But this you're not wearing men in black. What do you mean? Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> yeah, just waiting for that to awesome. finish what they're saying. I don't want to turn it off. Let's go. <laughs> of course you can. Alright, let's go. You'll be better and stronger than me. Oh, it, it just continues when I do. I didn't know that. Gonna happen, is it? Dude, I actually if you receive don't want him to die. Blessing, feel more relaxed. He's not gonna die. There's no way he's actually gonna die. I refuse to believe that he's actually gonna die. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. Yep. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's alright. I know how to do it. This is where we go our own way, Kakabasha. Catechins are coming. Oh, this. Bro, why did you have to do it? Oh my. Oh, you, I swear to God. I... Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, they killed our parents. What more do they want? The catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. Want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge. Remember, today is the day of the Kakava, and also the birthday. Oh, what? Surely hold it. Bro, why you gotta kick him when he's down? Come on, man. Why you gotta kick him? They will come to destroy our wagons and take everything that we have. This time, we will fight. Men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. What did the APIPC come in? There's no in? chance against them. And we'll surely pay for their mm -hmm. arrogance. Without this rain, the Catechins would never take action. And we would not have the and chance to turn the tide. Like okay. This is a gift from Gayathra. And you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with some. But, but people will die. You will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Afjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me. Well, Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune to help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Afjin will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. Yeah. As for us, we will reunite 
And Kakava's next Aurora. May the goddess Gyathra close her eyes three times to keep you blood. Oh, bro, this is hurting my soul. Oh my god. Let your journey be forever peaceful. Wow, but when I say that, I mean that in like a good way. But I just mean that it's fucking person. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. News flash from the Inter Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. Yeah, it was the IPC. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. Yeah. The spokesperson expresses his deepest... I'm kind of excited for this because I have no idea where it's going to go. It's obviously we're going to go fight him. And then like after that, it's like... Delivering an important what the hell is going to happen after that? <laughs> this kind of all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims... Oh, I'll also just end this one for you. If I'm going to wait like six minutes. Years. Regardless of life or death. Regardless of race. Regardless of ideology. To uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Yeah, I roughly believe that. Kakavasha? Uh, he's gonna, so why you know, you gotta take the stage. <laughs> Bye. Come on the stage. Yeah, what you gotta do, dude. Okay. All the actors are in place. Show to begin. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavasha. By the way, before you go. I have a personal question. Oh, is it? Yeah. You answer the question. Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assume for now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I answer that? Uh, yep. Now we're going back to. Trailblazers. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Inigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello, I'm Mark Seven. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. You can call me Joy. <laughs> I still see what she says. Uh... Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you, and we trust his judgment. I mean, yeah, for some uh, totally unexplained reason, you know, totally not because then she looks like me. Don't do it like me. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Yeah, and also to fuck with us. Which <laughs> is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. Honestly, we don't want to They don't know yet. I aware of Panacone's secret from the beginning. Been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his okay, so yeah, this is why imperative. He said that uh, he said now, this because of he may use us like, to do something unexpected. Go to the stage. 
Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Pentaconi has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellalog and Xianzhou. I am the... <laughs> What's this response? She's right. No matter what, we cannot ignore the safety of Pentaconi. To true. solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Yeah, that's, that's true. Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, Miss Acker. I will accompany you, of course. I will be weird. <laughs> Let's move out then. But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap. He will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. You don't like that? <laughs> the most wondrous, most magnificent show in Pentaconi's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites the Clock Studio Theme Park. That was convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. I mean, I guess we could just, you know, let them do it, maybe? No, I can't. All right. Oh, yeah, this episode's definitely going to be extra long, but uh, I really want to finish the story, so I'm going to just probably just make it extra long. All right, Marcia, oh, still. I have a bad feeling that something big's going to go down. Are you ready? I mean, no, but I don't have a choice. So. Waste no time and head to the theme park then. Mr. Yang. What? Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? Oh, it it's just like you said an inability rather than an unwilling. Plus, it's a long story, something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I, uh, yeah. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Yeah, I'm sure. Thank you. I'm grateful to reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you if my meager strength is required. Meager? Oh yeah, meager. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there he is. There's the man himself. We're back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Uh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Oh, he definitely has a death wish. What a soul in sight. The hounds showed up the visitors, I'm and so now their whereabouts are unknown you, too. You don't understand. I am so incredibly. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. What's this music? Oh, we're just we're just going to go straight to fighting. Oh, no, Why isn't this the? Uh, oh, this is the the trial thing, isn't it? your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. well I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up for Mid Demeron! <laughs> I, I want to say this so loud. 
me remind you that uh, all my characters are so stupid. This stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh, no, they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She is the key to proving that the family is dead and does not exist in Drain's promise. Is nothing but a sham. Three homicides? Yeah, what do you mean? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here. In Clock Studios theme park. A truly grand death. You, 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 and you. All of you are going to die. And it's all because of you, Miss Stella. Yo, I have a name, you know. <laughs> You sure? <laughs> I'm, sure I could, I'm sure Will wanted to, he could kill you in like five seconds. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panico. Bam! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. How would you even do that? Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. I mean, she's right. Always a betting man. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It is just another gift. I came from the wastelands. Right, so so Come on, you're just you're gonna. Yeah, because I'm just doing already. People paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me. The golden sands, but the sun could not kill. Quick man sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the NPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. I never meant to mean it. Yeah, well, I feel like you don't actually want to kill us and you're just trying to do something. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the curse of the dead? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. I mean, it's one way to look at it. Step up, let's see it. Let's do that. I will. Damn stuff. 
Man, I should do too much damage. Okay. Of course, some stuff. Free will, you know nothing of survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. That's why we're way harder than we should have background. Starting to get a little impatient with you all. 
through the place you mentioned. Dinner coming. Yes, what sir. do you hope to find in the dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Oh. That hurt. No. <laughs> I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the heart. Even if... That's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other beings. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. Oh, they always gotta be. They leave woven one strands thing. of fate for humans to walk. And together, they leave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. That is on. They have always got to be together as one. There are always those who rise from the shadows. They mostly become a part of the shadow. You rise. Am I the same? Come on, Echo. You still have a strand of color. Not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach. The Nihility's end. Oh, so yeah, okay, that's what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> This is not the place you were expecting. So cool. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Melody. Is it? Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But 
The sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The Nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more Nihility. That's all. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I had to go do something. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. He's not actually going to die. Either. So, is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye, you actually say that <laughs> to die we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, come on, you know what Your you mean. performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacomi's dreamscape. <laughs> Why so would I it all of this was just to prove that you can't die? Because anymore. this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial to use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. What's the Pinnacle? The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. Was that where people are dying in the land of exile? How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. What do you mean? Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacony, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used oh, the army to so build a high weird. wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they built keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. So he broke out of the a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier and lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't it's someone. Weird, that what happened when I first went to Then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous deaths but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Pentagon. Like me, is that a hint? Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear their intent on covering their tracks. I mean, yeah. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. I mean, why would they want their secret? For me, though? suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memories on meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. You are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky. 
that fate has decided to let us cross paths. Yeah, I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade, sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning, deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides, constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others, leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. I mean, yes, That's I how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. Oh, and in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. That's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a stem rod. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. That's why there's no going back this if, point. at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Only because other than that, I have nothing. Oh, boy, so Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me why are we born into this world if it's just to die? I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And yeah. because of that, it's pointless. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> but it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? Uh, it's like the same as when he was a child. My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. It's always there. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want. To be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, yeah, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. Dude, this conversation is so good. Because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Oh yeah, the uh, good luck. The thing that Rachel gave him. Like, I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> like, what does it say? Like, the impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do you stay alive? I wish you the best. <laughs> I shall get going. I'm going to try and see uh, what other. Oh, my. Mister, you're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape. Or why do I keep going down, man? Come on. Because they are not here. 
My papa, mama, and big sis. And where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Dude's quest is like, it's his people. And are you going to? I'll get there one day, but not now. Yeah, there will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyanthra Triglavs. Know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family, so... Until that time comes... I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakamasha. And to make them proud. Dude, this is, this is so good. I know you'll be able to do it. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> oh, gee, the music too. Oh, my God. You still seem nervous. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it. Well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you. You know, I didn't expect Keeping your blood, blood eternally, eternally pulsing. Your to be the emotional core, but you know, I guess we're here. May your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. His fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempest one after another, till minor enshrouds his very breath. And now, in the unfathomed depths of a dream, the once fan the falling die, as the last landed in the dream, quiet peacefully, as was our last landed. The light of the Avengerine stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise. And got what he wanted. I mean, he's not actually doing that. Last plan. Your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family territory. Then. Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. What do, huh? What do you mean? After your cradle, deep. Uh, okay. And we're still in I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. Yep, yeah. Yeah, you definitely got what I want. For the Amber Lord. Would that guy want to ask? Memories of the apps. Try to open your eyes. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Did we get like sucked in? Doesn't even gradually resurfaces. Crash. Force severs part of reservation. Space. Where your thoughts? Uh. Yes, I'd be. Oh. You're awake. Oh. Hi. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Uh, what's happened? <laughs> Travis between dreams. You've met me before. I'm Sam. 
A Stellaron hunter. Oh, yeah, I originally sure. planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to me, but I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined, and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. I get what you mean. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. Hey, I don't going? know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So, you're killing people. You're good so, at it. there is only one method that I use. This is to show you. See, I knew it was fucking her. The risk that I am. You. You motherfuckers. How dare you? How dare you? Labyrinth like corridors and halls. Traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. Oh, really now? <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Oh, he's poking at me. <laughs> Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties oh, he will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk. Hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often, but I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem is paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. Hey, at least you know you said it, buddy. You said <laughs> You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. Yeah, he's, uh... What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Oh, he's... His birds, it's the bird, his birds are like the watchdog. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Oh, you want this? What do you want? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. Do you believe me? Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. Hey, this is you know, surprising. Eyes, I'm like not Benny for once while this Which me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar. The mark of Wolsey. And the grey vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits. 
-huh. from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. Is this how it is? You collect a small end. piece of each of them and claim them for yourself. Not that it's a bad name, I'm just saying that. Very similar to the A complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Yeah. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? Oh, <laughs> <sighs> You know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Did you fucking die? <laughs> Oh, bro, you're not gonna end it like that. How? How dare you? <laughs> you're just gonna end it like that. Oh my god. Okay, well. Bro, that was like. The. The best quest in the game, probably so far. Dude, that was so good. That was insane. But that's gonna be about it for this episode of Punk Guys Star. We finally beat the game. Not beat the game, beat the two Pokemon story. Oh man, bro, I, I need I need the new I need I, I do waiting six weeks is gonna be so painful. See me about it. If you guys like the video, leave a little bit. If not, that's fine as well. I will see you in the next video.